Hello there, my friends. Today is Thursday, February 25th, and we are in the first week of Lent. Let's pray before we begin. Dear God, St. Luke's is a family. Help us to learn together, to worship together, to share together, to play together, to pray together, and to come together to learn about you. Help us to hear your words and lessons so they may guide us throughout our lives. Help us also to reach out to everyone with the St. Luke's family love. Amen. Today, we're talking about olive trees. Did you know olives grew on trees? Our scripture today is Luke 22, 39 through 40. Let's take a quick pause and go find it in our Bibles. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Luke 22, 39 through 40. So, olive trees. Olive trees can live to be really, really old. Some of the trees in the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus went after eating the Passover meal, they might have been young saplings when David passed that way a thousand years before. That's really old. A lot of history has happened in those years, and if olive trees could see and talk, they would have a lot to share. So let's look at those trees and let them remind you that you're not alone. For hundreds of years, for thousands of years, People like us have been learning about Jesus' suffering. Trees can't talk, but people can. It's great to hear stories from the past. Have you ever asked your grown-up if they have a story from when they were little? Or what about your grown-up's grown-up? Have you heard their stories too? Do you think those stories could help us in the future? What about your stories. Will you tell your stories to your children or your nieces or your nephews or grandchildren or just other kids someday? Hmm. What kinds of stories do you have to share? I think you've got some good ones now about the pandemic and COVID and how we're doing all of this stuff online. That's kind of cool. Hmm. So it's good to listen, like when your grown-ups talk or when Father Ken talks, and share it. Our time is up for today. Let's end with a prayer. Thank you, God, for the time we've had today to learn more about you. We are listening, Lord Jesus. Keep sending people to speak to us. May you bless each and every one of us and let your hand of protection be on us throughout the rest of the day. Inspire us as we finish our digital gathering today to love and serve you always. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.